What the Sportsman will do is it'll, it'll uh, provide a, a wide range of utility for people and it's, a, it's, a, it's got an incredible mission profile. You can put this thing on tricycle gear. You can easily convert it from tricycle to tail dragger. Uh, it'll go on floats, skis, all with the same airframe. You don't have to haul the air, airplane in and weld special fittings here and there. Uh, the entire airframe is set up from the factory to handle all of those operations very easily. When you design a product like that, you try to make it uh, as versatile as possible. And, and here, just the other day, when we loaded the uh, mountain bikes in that airplane, it opens up a whole new a venue of possibilities for the pilot and his co-pilot, whether it's camping gear or bicycles, whether it's uh, snowboards, uh, you name it, you now have the possibility of when you get to your destination uh, to then start your vacation. The utility of the airplane is something that is uh, 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 incredible in terms of the, the amount of weight and the cubic space that this airplane has. Uh, it's a two plus two. It's got two uh, seats in the back that'll seat people up to about five foot two, five foot three. So a, a young family with children can go explore their world. Uh, people with a dog, hunting dog, uh, it'll easily take a, a, a good sized dog carrier. Uh, you can put your pet in the back. Uh, camping gear, uh, or even just, just your travel luggage, not just soft little tiny duffel bags that'll go into a lot of airplanes, but I'm talking big, big duffel bags that you can fill the back of this airplane with. It'll take it all. I, I'm a typical guy who doesn't want to spend any more than I have to to own an airplane. And uh, what, what makes it nice about the folding wing option is that you can share a hangar. You can cut your hangar fees in half or maybe by a third. And uh, that's very realistic because it's very easy to do in under five minutes by yourself. Since folding the wings on the Sportsman is so easy to do, it makes trailering an option. Now trailering might not be for everybody, but for, for retired people that are snowbirders that want to get out of the cold country and head south for the winter, it's nice to be able to take the motor home, load up the airplane, and head south. Now you've got your, now you've got your recreational vehicle deluxe. You've got your airplane down south with you that you can enjoy down there for the summer. You don't get the, the one typical type of uh, customer. You, you get the, uh, the older couple that has young grandchildren, and they see that as a way of introducing flying to their, uh, to their uh, next of kin or their you know, loved ones, um, as well as the, the hardcore outdoorsmen that, that want to throw camping gear and uh, go hunting for the weekend, or uh, uh, the people that want to throw bicycles and just fly down to the beach and then spend several hours uh, beachcombing and uh, exploring the towns and so there's there's a lot of possibilities with uh, the sportsman design The aircraft, I would say, handles better, 
It has uh, higher cruise speeds, it has lower stall speeds, it has higher useful load, and it's uh, less expensive to buy, build, uh, maintain, and operate. And incidentally, at, at Cabela's, when we left Cabela's, we had a, a temperature of about 90 degrees and an elevation over 4,000 feet with the sportsman fully loaded at gross weight, we still got airborne in about 400 feet, which is incredible performance for, for an airplane. But when I was on the trip over to Billings, Montana, we were invited by a bunch of Super Cub drivers over there, and they were gracious enough to show us into a lot of little mountain strips and to guide us into landing on the Yellowstone River. And what was really neat to see was a lot of these uh, cub owners were very, very impressed with the sportsman. Yeah, the sportsman is not a cub in, th in the sense that it, it can't land quite as, as short as a cub, but it'll be real close. And uh, the thing that they were just mostly amazed with was how much gear this airplane would pack and uh, how fast the airplane goes. We're a good 40 to 50 miles an hour faster than a cub. And that, uh, that's the limitation of a Cub. It'll get in short, it'll get out short, but it goes fairly slow. This airplane gets in short, gets out short, but goes fast. Most aircraft that have a 950-pound useful load have an IO540 on the front of them. Aircraft that cruise at the cruise speeds we cruise at have an IO540 on the front of them. This aircraft has the proven Lycoming 0360 and they are, that engine costs sixteen to twenty thousand dollars less than an IL 540. That engine costs you less money to maintain and less money to overhaul. And uh, in addition, it burns less fuel. And this is very economical. It's economical to purchase. It's economical to operate. There seems to be a trend with uh, uh, bigger and bigger engines in the uh, custom plane world. But uh, I'm not like that. I, uh, the 180 horse Lycoming is to me one of the, the best engines ever designed and it's economical. So this airplane will perform like a lot of those uh, meteor engines but uh, on a lot less uh, horsepower. And one of the, the, the features that we wanted to retain when we grew the glass sarp to the sportsman, we wanted to keep the safety of flight uh, strong with, with this airplane. So the, uh, the low end performance was very important to us. We didn't want to lose anything on the stall speeds, the safe flight characteristics with our vortex generators. Uh, there's no black holes in this envelope, uh, the flight envelope. Um, it's a very safe airplane to fly. When uh, you get feedback from pilots or test pilots that have been in it and say, you know, I can't, uh, I can't find the corner of the envelope where it's going to bite the individual. We've had a lot of questions over the years, uh, especially when you look at the, uh, the history of, of the glass air and all composite design when it was first brought into the glass star. Here we had a steel cage and aluminum wings and composite structure and a lot of people scratched their heads and, you know, why did, why did you do that? What, you're going away from your roots. But the aluminum wings uh, make a real natural uh, fit for the flying surfaces. And the steel cage makes a real natural fit for all your structural loads as well as your occupant safety. And in one case, uh, we got a, an email from a customer that was thanking us personally and he related his story of a catastrophic engine failure at 7,000 feet and he was over a pine forest and with very little uh, uh, choices and he had to put it straight into the forest and uh, he ended upside down strapped into his uh, seat belt still and he and his co-pilot walked away from it. We take the extra time and spend the extra money to provide the customer with a thorough, easy to follow, well documented, lots of photographs, lots of drawings, everything you need to make it simple to build your airplane. When you receive your kit, you'll see that all of your 
rivets, nuts, washers, bolts are all divided and easily identified and well organized. When you open the crate, you'll see right away how far along this aircraft is compared to what used to be considered a kit plane or a high quality kit plane. We offer a standard kit. We offer a quick build, what we call the jump start kit. And we also offer a one to two week program where you can come to our factory and take your jump start kit and, and with our assistance build that into a complete airframe. One of the benefits of the Builders Forum that uh, we have available is you got 600 uh, Glassstar customers and uh, over, I think, 2,000 uh, Glass Air customers that have uh, wonderful feedback on, on design, on better ways to build a mousetrap, basically. We don't just sell aviation products here. We live it and we breathe it. Michael Vi, our president, has built just a stunning, award-winning Glass Air. Harry DeLong, our sales and marketing man, built a beautiful Glass Star. And I've had my hand in building dozens of airplanes, all the way from the first Glass Air back in 1980, through all the different prototypes I've had my hand in helping on all of those. And my dream is to finally build my own airplane. I'll be starting a sportsman this year. Approaching my role as the president of the company from the standpoint of actually being a customer, I know that the guy who buys an airplane is buying a lot more than just an airplane. He's buying the airplane, he's buying the company, and he's buying into a group of other uh, like builders out there who have also built that aircraft or other aircraft in the stable. We understand that the customers need a full line of accessories. We understand that customers want technical support and they want more than just telephone technical support. Customers have the ability to get technical support anytime they're working on their aircraft. We have two builders associations. We have a Glass Air Association, we have the Glass Star Sportsman Association. And through those associations we have developed online builder support that is a searchable database. So we've developed a new customer completion center where a customer can come in, take our jump start, and work with us side by side. And within two weeks, they have their airframe complete. Take your aircraft home, and then at your pace, you can install your engine and your interior, your avionics, and then you fly. I uh, have a passion for airplanes, and uh, I have a passion for uh, uh, designing the perfect airplane. And that may be the perfect airplane for me, but I don't think that I'm atypical. I think that I have a lot of uh, desires for what I like to do that uh, a lot of other people also would have. When you look at the proven track record of uh, the, the history of the airplanes, from the Glass Airs uh, having over 1,800 or 1,900 airplanes, uh, several hundred of them flying, tens of thousands of flight hours, uh, up into the to the uh, Glass Star with over seven or eight hundred kits sold. Uh, I believe close to three hundred of them are flying, and uh, a very proven uh, design, very proven uh, product, very well supported products, and we're, we are very proud of that. It, this aircraft is designed to be an excellent tail dragger. It's designed to be an excellent trike. It's designed to be an excellent float plane. It's designed to be an excellent aircraft on skis. And what's unique about the airplane is it is all of those. You tell me what your hobbies are and you can do them in this aircraft.